I would like to introduce the superintendent of Hawkington Public Schools, Dr. Kathy McLeod. I have to turn to my page. Good evening. First of all, class of 2015, you look fantastic. It is with great pleasure that I'm here tonight to congratulate our 2015 graduates on behalf of the administration and school committee. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the educators, family members and friends who've had an influence on the lives of the students we are here to honor. I would also like to thank Mr. Bishop, Mr. Hanna, Mr. Pominville for your ongoing leadership of Hopkinton High and to the entire faculty those of you who are here and those of you who are not, for your dedication and commitment. Tonight, we are celebrating all of you, most of whom came to us 13 years ago as kindergartners, confidently and eagerly coming to school ready to learn. This year, our administrative team has been discussing a book by Carol Dweck entitled Mindset, The New Psychology of Success. Dr. Dweck defines mindset as the assumptions and expectations we have for ourselves and others that guide our behavior. Her extensive research has shown that whether we adopt a fixed or a growth mindset has profound implications on the way we live our lives. Those with a fixed mindset assume that their ability is inherent and results in constantly having to prove oneself and evaluate every situation with how others view them. On the other hand, a growth mindset is based on the belief that ability can be developed and enhanced through effective effort. This means challenging yourself beyond your comfort level and sticking with something, especially when it gets really tough. As some of you know, I experienced a life-changing event this past year, the birth of our first grandchild, Elliot. I had been warned that my life would never be the same, but what I was not prepared for was my fascination with every little thing he did. You may be wondering how this applies to my message to our graduates today. It has to do with mindset and joy. Whether it was reaching for a toy, responding to a voice, surprising himself when he accidentally rolled over, learning the power of peekaboo, or discovering that when there was food in his hand and that hand found its way to his mouth, that something delightful happened. What I've learned watching this little person is that it never occurred to him to give up or to display frustration when something was challenging. Instead, he would take a little rest and then try again. This determination is an example of a growth mindset and the willingness to accept what Dr. Dweck refers to as not yet. As an educator, watching my grandson has made me wonder when children learn to evaluate themselves and their successes based on outside influences and judgments. Our responsibility as educators is tremendous. We are charged with preparing students for life beyond this community and the security of their homes and school. And I was reminded of this as I listened to Nick Ponce on Wednesday evening when he facetiously referenced how tough it has been growing up in Hopkinton. By praising your efforts, focus, and perseverance, our hope as educators is that we have prepared you to embrace the challenge of not yet so that you can persevere long enough to reach your goals. In closing, I had the great pleasure of attending the Conf Conference for Women along with several Hopkinton High School students, teachers, school committee members. Lupita Nyong'o treated us to an inspirational speech that demonstrated a growth mindset. This young woman won Best Supporting Actress for her performance debut in 12 Years a Slave. In her inspiring speech, she described some of her life experiences and gifted us with seven tools for fearlessly following your dreams which I would like to share with you, so um, more advice. One, recognize and articulate your fears. 
Two, know your stretcher bearers, at least four, who could carry you to safety and remind you that you are not alone. Three, ask questions of yourself, for yourself, and listen to the answers. Four, write goals and dreams down. Five, be still with your soul. Six, go for it and always allow failure to be an option. And seven, step forward and then begin again. Step and repeat. With each step and challenge, expect to learn these lessons again and again. As you begin this next phase in your lives, ask yourself if yours is a growth mindset, and if not, be brave enough to challenge yourself to develop one. If you expect to always excel, you may never take a risk, and you will likely miss many opportunities. Be open to challenging yourself in areas outside of your comfort zone. Be open to the opportunities that result from what, at first, may seem like failure or mistakes. To quote John Doria, when faced with challenges, do not ask, can I do this? But how do I do this? Congratulations, grad graduates. We will be watching with great pride from your starting line in Hopkinton.